everybody, Ashley and Jerome here at Atmosphere Collectibles, and we're going to go ahead and show you some new uh, inventory going out. Although I've got two crates here on the counter, we have the whole floor is stacked with uh, priced and graded records ready to hit the bins. Um, we have a lot of records going out. Everything from Stevie Wonder to Stilly Dan to UFO. Lots of stuff. So uh, lots of new 45s. So. Um, also, we are excited to uh, announce that we're going to be getting five copies of uh, the Whole Beat album, Songs from My Parents' Basement. Uh, we listen, we're listening to it now. We're really big fans. This came out in 2014, and it's really, really good music. We've discussed it in some of our other videos. Um, so, yeah, we're it's really sold happy. Sold out, but uh, apparently there's a few copies left. 25 uh, copies that uh, ended it, so they're... It's limited uh, to 500 copies, and then they've got 25 more copies. We've got five of those, so happy We also that. got, uh, I don't know if you can see them, but we got some new box sets in. Uh, Metallica, Ride the Lightning, and Through the uh, Never. So. Uh, yeah, so those are both uh, factory sealed. Anyway, let's get to it. Uh, all right, first up we have... Uh, Opeth, Pal Communion, and this is uh, sealed, new, stock going out. It's a, a rock 2018 Rocktober on clear vinyl, uh, Rhino Rocktober release on clear vinyl. Let's see. Ryan Adams Gold, and this is a uh, 2003 reissue. These are sealed? Mm hmm. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, we've got Kylie, and it's called Golden, and this is a 2018 uh, European press, still sealed. Uh, Kylie Minogue, and this is a uh, her self-titled. It's a 2018 reissue. It's on white vinyl. It's also sealed. All right, we have some of the music on vinyl. Death in Vegas. We have uh, the Contino Sessions, which is a fabulous album. We also have Scorpio Rising. We have them both in stock right now. I think there's uh, one copy of each left. So, yep. great records, great band. Uh, if you like Trip Hop, it's really Drum and good I are stuff. really big fans of these albums. And um, it's red vinyl, it's limited edition, and it's numbered on the back. It's good quality. Uh, we own those as well in our collection. Great stuff. Queens of the Stone Age. Um, this one's called Lullabies to Paralyze, and this is a 2019 reissue, double LP, still sealed. It's a great record. Uh, Human League Fascination, 12 inch single. Oh no, that's a full album. Oh, is this actually full? Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want me to just do one? Like, well, oh, yeah, oh, you I, can go from okay. over there. All right. So I've got Towns Van Zandt live at the Old Quarter. Uh, it's this a great is record. Uh, one of, yeah, we love Towns Van Zandt. We love this album of uh, one of the greatest live albums of all time. And this is an open copy, so um, it's a really good sound and quality press too. Uh, Boris Sprinkler, Boris the Sprinkler, um, end of the century. This is kind of a Ramones mock, and it's even got. Uh, Mock of the Sire label on the inside, and uh, they do a bunch of Ramones tracks. That's kind of cool. It's uh, from 1996. Um, this is a Waylon Jennings, I've Always Been Crazy. It's still sealed, so this is a, uh, it does have a, a cutout on, on the cover, but it's sealed. Uh, great, great jam. Uh, Moby Grape. Um, this is a 1968 1968 press, so it's cool. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, really you like got it. Al Cooper and Mike Bloomfield. If you like Electric Blues, definitely check that out. Great stuff. Um, the Flying Burrito Brothers, The Last of the Red Hot Burritos. This is in excellent condition. It's from 1972. Um, really great country rock. Jerome's a big fan of uh, yeah, Flying Burrito that, Brothers. That's a great album. It's actually not a compilation. I, mean, well, I guess it kind of is, but it's uh, the fourth album, and uh, 
It's a great album. Uh, Gene Watson. This is uh, uh, Texas country. This is kind of like uh, uh, honky tonk. And this is uh, a Winchester Press, uh, 1979. Super Tramp, famous last words. Uh, this is an unofficial golden earring uh, switch from Taiwan. And um, we've actually got quite a few of these 70s Taiwan unofficial uh, boots in right now. Uh, it actually sounds pretty good. So. Some golden earrings, some Three Dog Night, um, Simon no, and Garfunkel. Yeah. So. Uh, now this is uh, a soundtrack. It's Santa Claus the Movie. And um, this is from 1985. It is on red vinyl. And I don't believe I saw this one on Discogs, but it does exist because I'm holding it. <laughs> but yeah, it's on uh, red translucent vinyl. So that's kind of a cool one. That is neat. Uh, White Witch, self-titled, uh, if, uh, you like Psych, uh, this is a great record, um, definitely worth checking out. Alright, this one is, um, Eagles, Hell Freezes Over, it's a 2014 unofficial press, uh, so it's a bootleg, I know in 2019 they did do an official reissue of this album, but, um, this one, uh, it's a European press, and it's from 2014, but uh, Eagles Hell Freezes Over. Um, Iggy Pop, Post Pop Depression. Um, this is from 2016, and... Uh, it's a good album. We listen to it a lot. This is the one with uh, Josh Homme. Mm hmm So, yeah. from... Uh, Queens. Queens of Stone Age, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, some common stuff just to restock our bins. Minute work. Great record. Uh, business as usual. It's a great album. You want to show all those? Yeah, we got some cards. We have a uh, club from 1981 of Shake It Up. And then we've got a club from 1979 of Candy O. Uh, Heartbeat City, 1984, SRC. And then this one is... Uh, the Cars Moving in Stereo, The Best of the Cars. It's a double LP that came out in 2016. Uh, great compilation, 180 gram vinyl. It's in excellent condition. It's all, so they have so many great hits. So that, that's a fun comp right there. We actually have a few more cards. This is yeah. just uh, yeah. the ones we did. Uh, <laughs> a lot of Dire Straits. So we have uh, the self-titled from 1978. Um, Brothers in Arms from 1985. This is a club press. And then uh, we've got Making Movies. This is 1980. It's in excellent condition. And then we also have this one. Another copy of uh, Brothers in Arms. That's a 2006 reissue. It is a high performance vinyl. And so it's got like, it's double LP and it's split up with two songs like on each side. But it is 33 and a third. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's not 45. Um, right. We've got Bruce Springsteen, born in the USA. Uh, Rolling Stones, Some Girls, uh, Second Press. With He's the faces the removed. Faces, yeah, faces removed. Uh, this is just a cool comp, and I think like it's a great party record. It's Golden Platinum Volume Two. This is from 1986. It's a compilation. It has got uh, Pointer Sisters, Cindy Lauper. Huey Lewis in the News, Bruce Springsteen, Lionel Richie, Church for Fears, Wham, uh, Sade, Till Tuesday, I mean, Ariel Speedwagon. It's just, really, lots of great songs. Meatloaf featuring uh, Stoney and Meatloaf. Um, this is a uh, Scandinavian issue of a U.S. album with different track listings, so it's it's different. It's kind of neat. Yeah. So. We also have this Bat Out of Hell. Which is a um, 1985 repress. Mm -hmm. The Prentice Learning to Crawl. Steve Miller, The Book of Dreams, uh, 1977. 
We got Michael Jackson, Thriller. Can't, you know, that's going to sell tomorrow. That's 1982. We have a couple copies of Fleetwood Mac Rumors. We have a 2011 Record Store Day Press. And then we have a 1977 um, Texture Cover Press. So. And we also have Fleetwood Mac Self Titled. This is the 1975. It's also got that textured cover. It's in great condition. Um, the Who Live at Leeds. Uh, this is a great live album, and it includes nine out of the twelve uh, inserts. So it is missing a couple of the inserts, but, but uh, this has got uh, really cool inserts that, like, some of them look like a bill of sale for some equipment, and like, um, it, it, it's it's a cool set that has really neat inserts to look at. So this is. Uh... Paul Banks of Interpol, and it's Banks and Stills. Stills is um, RZA. RZA from uh, Wu Tang Clan. So, kind of interesting. This is Black and Blue. It's called Without Love. Uh, this one's got Tommy Thayer of Kiss on it, and um, it is from 1985. The best of Roberta Flack. We've had this in, and we sold it here recently. We got another copy. This one is in amazing shape. Um, this is a 1981. I got a lot of best of albums that I'll be showing. So first off, we've, uh, we've got the best of Fair and Young. This is a comp from 1970. Feel like older country. Yeah. Uh, Footloose. So uh, everybody should be familiar with Footloose. 1984 press. We've got the best of the doors, and this is a this is a club press. It's a reissue, and um, it's in great condition. Bob Marley and the Wellers early music featuring Peter Tosh. This is a 1977 comp. We've got Foreigner Records. This is 1982. It's got that cool die cut sleeve. Looks like a jukebox. And it's a great compilation that has all their hits on it. In Harmony 2. This is a compilation and it has Lou Rao, uh, Billy Joel, Bruce Springsteen, James Taylor, Kenny Loggins, Crystal Gale. Uh, Dr. John. Yeah. Uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Chronicle, the 20 great, Greatest Hits. That is a great compilation. It's a double album. This is a great compilation. Uh, they have so many great songs. It's it's just great. <laughs> great. The best of Tommy James and the Shondells. This is a uh, 1970 comp. So. Elton John, Greatest Hits. This compilation's from 1974. It is a club pressing. Lots of great songs on that one. Uh, CRC Press, uh, Club Press for uh, Whitney Houston. Self-titled. I've got... Eagles, their greatest hits, 1971 to 1975. And then I also have the Eagles Greatest Hits Volume 2. Um, both of these are um, BG Plus vinyl. Now, this is uh, Talking Heads, Stop Making Sense. This is uh, not technically a live album in all forms because it's got a lot of studio overdubs and stuff. But it is also a live album in a way, but it's just an amazing record. One of my favorite records of all time. It's a great record. Um, Willie Nelson's Greatest Hits and Some That Will Be. This is in great condition. Four Tops Anthology from 1974. Comp. That's three records and a booklet. So, pretty nice. Pretty inclusive. Bee Gees Greatest. This is a. Uh, um, VG Plus Vinyl. It's got that three panel gatefold cover. Lots of hits on that. Uh, Steve Perry's first solo album from 1984. This is the one with Bill Sherry, and it's called uh, Street Talk. <laughs> Cheap Trick at Budokan. That's a great album right there. Uh, Charlie Sexton, uh, Pictures for Pleasure. 
And this is uh, 1985. Uh, Cynthia Pop. Yeah. All right. So I've got some Steely Dan, and I've got more to go out. I just don't have all in this crate. Got a lot of Steely so Dan. So we've got Aja. This is a 1977 press. And then we've got Countdown to Ecstasy. This is a 1974 reissue. It's got the uh, um, Terre Haute Press and ABC labels. Oh, it's Uh Greg Allman, Laid Back, 1973. The Flamingo Kid soundtrack. Uh, if you're not familiar with this movie, uh, it's really got great songs on this soundtrack. You've got Little Richard doing Good Golly Miss Molly, Dion doing Run Around Sue. Uh, in itself, it's just a great compilation of songs. Um, you know, you've got the, uh, the Chiffons doing He's So Fine. Lots of, uh, Martha Reeves and the Vandals, Heat Wave. Love this soundtrack. Good stuff. All right. Ted Nugent, Nugent. Uh, from 1982. Amazing guitarist. So, uh, this is a 2009 Music on Vinyl reissue of Rage Against the Machine, Evil Empire. Um, this is a, on a, a 180 gram vinyl. If you can't afford to get a ticket to their current concert, then you surely can afford uh, to get the record. <laughs> Eric Clapton, another ticket uh, from 1981. This is, really, this is really cool. This is the Beatles Anthology 2. It's a 1996 uh, sampler. It's a promo-only sampler. It's got seven tracks on it. So it came out around the same time, you know, that those compilations, the anthologies did. But this is a promo vinyl copy uh, sampler. All right, speaking of the Beatles, we have... Uh, some of the 2014 mono presses. Uh, these are super desirable. Yeah. Um, remastered. Um, and they're in amazing shape. Uh, we have Rubber Soul. We've got Revolver. Please Please Me. Uh, and these are all mono. And they're... Uh, most of them are in the shrink, and they're in excellent condition. They have a hype sticker. Um, they replicated everything as close as they can, and they uh, remastered it in mono. Uh, yeah, they're supposed to sound. Hard Day's Night. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hard Time of Band. Club Man. <laughs> yep. And then we've got Help, um, also the mono series. Uh, this one might be one that um, is not as easy to find, or um, yeah, some of these are quite pricey, but yeah. they uh, read up on the pressings of yeah, those 2014 uh, Beatles in Mono series. Uh, they're really they sought are, after. Uh, with the Beatles, also Mono, and we've got Beatles for sale. Um, so those are the we have seven of the Beatles in Mono series. Oh, and now I got, uh, we went through all of your crate. So, um, Disney's Christmas Favorites, a 1979 compilation. It's in great condition. Uh, you want to do this one? Uh, go ahead. Okay. So this is Prince, the Black Album. Uh, now we all know that this one didn't have, you know, this one wasn't like officially, or got, not official release or whatever, or was recalled or whatever. But this one is a uh, unofficial pressing bootleg, and it's on clear vinyl. And this one, um, I got one of, one of my customers is a huge Prince fan, so I was excited to find a copy of that for her. Um, this is kind of cool. This is a promo for um, uh, Jefferson Airplane. Yeah, Jefferson Airplane, uh, 2400 Fulton. Um, and it's kind of like, it's a sampler, uh, but it's got White Rabbit, uh, Somebody to Love, and uh, White Vinyl, and it's, it's they did a from Levi, 1987. They did yeah, a Levi commercial, cool. and it's on there. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty neat. But yeah. The Beach Boys, Endless Summer. And then um, I do have some... 
before we get to the jazz, we'll go to do um, Elena's Morissette, Jagged Little Pill. It's a 2012 reissue on 180 gram vinyl in excellent People condition. Ask for that record oh, almost yeah. every day. This will probably so. go tomorrow. <laughs> Um, this is a 1981, uh, for those about to rock, ACDC, it is embossed and it is the gate fold. So it's, uh, the version, if you're looking for it, you're probably looking for it. Um, another embossed cover. This is Bad Company, Run, Run With The Pack. It's 1977 and it's a club pressing. It's in excellent condition. It is amazing shape. Like I've never seen that album in that good of shape, but. Uh, UFO, uh, No Heavy Petting, uh, Michael Schenker era. This is, uh, I think my favorite album with him in UFO was Phenomena, but this one is the one he really shreds on, so it's mm -hmm. great. Uh, Pink Floyd, The Wall. This is a 1979 Terre Haute, uh, first, first pressing, uh, VG Plus all around, really great condition. Um, so happy to have some Pink Floyd on the wall, literally. <laughs> Uh, the best of Buck Owens. This is uh, um, this is a nineteen seventy four, I think. Uh, it's a ten track version. It's actually nineteen sixty nine. There's uh, uh, nineteen sixty four is original. Nineteen sixty nine is the second, which is a ten track version. And then in nineteen seventy four, they did another ten track version. There's a different 10 tracks. So, but this is the, uh, it's missing uh, two tracks off the uh, original version, but it's it's still a great comp, and this is in amazing shape, and it's on, uh, yeah, the Starline label. So it's kind of neat. So now we'll get to the jazz. This is the Dave uh, Brubeck Trio, Distinctive Rhythm Instrumentals, and it is a 2013 Record Store Day, limited to 2,000 copies, it's in mono and it's on red translucent vinyl. Um, we have John Coltrane, The Lost Album. It is both directions at once, The Lost Album. This is a 2018 press. It's really beautiful condition. It has the insert. We got a uh, Billie Holiday comp. It's called Misty and Blue. This is uh, in great condition. Count Basie Get Together. This is a 1986 gold stamp promo. Um, we, this is another Buck Owens we had down there. I just wanted to show it because um, they are so sharp. They look super Every cool album cover picture. of Buck Owens uh, looks so cool. Yeah. Um, roll out the red carpet. This is uh, from 1966. It's a stereo version. So, super cool record. Uh, Dave Brubeck goes to college. This is a 1989 reissue remastered and it's a gold stamp promo. Miles Davis, Ballads. Another one of those uh, C uh, Columbia Jazz Master Masterpiece series. Miles, Live Miles, uh, music from the legendary Carnegie Hall concert. Um, Miles Davis Milestones, all these are the same series, and they're all gold stamp promos. And these are all, like, they have the radio station stickers on them, so... But the vinyl's VG+. Plus. But yeah, the vinyl's in excellent shape. So we got Miles Davis in person Saturday night at the Blackhawk, San Francisco. I've got volume one, and then I've got also, I mean, this is volume two, and then volume one. So I have both of those. And then we also have uh, the Columbia Jazz Masterpieces Sampler Volume 3. And this has got Benny Goodwin, Count Basie, Duke Ellington, Miles Davis, and others. And we have uh, like multiple crates worth of records down here priced. Uh, yeah, just some those, common silly, stuff, silly you know, Silly Dan, Silly Dan, Kid uh, Creole, Don Hanley. Head East, Abba's Greatest Hits, Luther Vandross, um, Loverboy. So, We've just got a lot of uh, stuff to restock the bins and uh, lots more really great stuff. Um, 
And also the Metallica box that's up there. So, and uh, we should have more coming in tomorrow, but um, but we've been pricing uh, really, really late, and so it's um, you know we just want to get this video shot up so uh, we can share what we've been doing. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. If you do like the video, um, hit the like button and maybe subscribe to our channel and you can get notifications of when we put up new stock videos. Um, either way, thanks for watching. Please comment any feedback. Uh, we'd love to reply to any comments and uh, we sure appreciate everybody. All Thank right. you.